Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to the Football Mania and the English Premier League is yet again delivering a classic encounter in which we are seeing two teams which are almost very close in terms of the league standings going head to head at the Molyneux Stadium. Wolverhampton Wanderers were facing Arsenal who were coming on the bounce of a very very good break which they spent in Dubai and it was all about how the Gunners would start off or resume back their Premier League action. And Molyneux has always been a tough place to go for any opposition irrespective of form, irrespective of where they are in the league table and obviously we know that Wolves have a very strong record at home. It is really hard to break them down and obviously we knew that they would go with the standard 4-4-2 formation and I was really expecting Podence and Raul Jimenez to step up their pace, their you know agility and their final attacking prowess. And it is something which we have seen time and time again that every time Wolves have the ball in the middle of the park, they are quick to break the opposition down with a swift transition. And it is all down to how Podence uses his pace on the left hand side and they are you know, deeply missing Adama Traore on the right which could have been curtains for Arsenal. However, they would be really fortunate that now he has gone to Barcelona. I was really expecting Arsenal to play with you know all these players back from international duty. Thomas Partey, Granit Xhaka, their midfield looks more solid now that those two are back. And I was expecting them to play with Lacazette obviously and the number 9 position. But it was really interesting to see what kind of formation Mikel Arteta chooses because it is something what Arsenal has you know tried to you know implement for a very long time that is playing out from the back. And it was really interesting to see how they would cope up against the pace of Wolverhampton Wanderers. In the first half, we saw Arsenal was pressing quite high. Even though they are playing away from home, they don't lack that charisma while playing football. And especially Mikel Arteta has worked on them in the training ground and that has transpired onto the pitch. Every player was closing the Wolves players down. Even though Wolves were having majority of the share of possession and they were whipping on those crosses not allowing Aaron Ramsdale to settle in goal and they peppered shot after shot. However, Gabriel, the you know experienced centre-back for Arsenal gave them the lead even though he's you know a very very strong defender. He has been chipping in with goals and this is something what we are seeing from Arsenal this season. They have a very different roster of goal scorers and it is not compulsory that the goals have to come from the attacking front. Gabriel has stepped in with a very very crucial goal which give the Gunners a 1-0 lead and I was expecting them to you know kick on from there, increase the intensity and take a threshold in the game. However, that never happened. Wolves will come back to haunt you. They will try to put all kinds of pressures on your attack and definitely you know their attack was quite lethal at times. They were trying to create a lot of chances through the middle third of the pitch but it was really good to see how Granit Xhaka and Thomas Palte were complementing each other in terms of their positions and they were not allowing Wolves to break them down through the middle. It was always going to be those vicious crosses which would be quite teasing for any kind of defence and all the attackers would be you know, licking their lips when they look at such a ball coming from the far end. However, it was 1-0 at the break to the Arsenal and I was expecting a lot more from the Gunners in the second half. Where was Martin Odegaard? Where was Emil Smithro? Where was Bukayo Saka? And where is the attacking prowess of Alexander Lacazette? Everyone has been talking about this front four. However, we see that when it comes onto the pitch, they need some time to get into the game. And the second half proved to be a very crucial you know, second half for Arsenal in this entire season. Because in the 70th minute, I have never seen something like this in my entire life. Gabriel Martinelli got sent off for two offences within a space of five seconds. I have never ever seen such a thing where you know obviously the first thing was a yellow card where he's trying to deny Podence from taking a quick throw in. Yes, that's a yellow but soon after that he doesn't realize that he will be booked for the initial foul and he goes on to you know foul Podence once again and it's a second yellow. So it is something which I have never seen in the past. I think the referee was quite right in this occasion and I just feel that even if it has you know been a very contentious one I just think that the referee has made the right decision and after that 
it is all about arsenal they have been in this situation they have gone down to 10 men and i just expect them to remain solid give nothing away to the opposition and it was a really really resolute performance ben white and gabriel have been outstanding for them at least before january in this season and they continued that kind of momentum where they picked up from and obviously you know that kieran tierney is giving you that kind of pace on the left hand side and tommy asu i don't know what happened to him but he was not there cedric did a really good job on the right hand side i was expecting a lot of good crosses from him but alexander lacazette missed a you know golden chance both in the first half as well as the second half he should have clearly buried the match for arsenal killed off the game 2-0 job done back home with three points that could have been the case but arsenal made it worse for themselves by going down to 10 men this has been a serious problem they have scored only two goals and acquired four red cards can you imagine the ill discipline what arsenal has had at the start of 2022 it is just not good enough and even though yes as an arsenal fan i am feeling happy that we took the three points but let's be honest they could have easily you know uh, kind of capitulated they could have gone into a shell but i have seen a kind of resilience from this defense from this arsenal team who just does not you know bought down and it is something which Mikel Arteta deserves huge credit for because we have seen time in and time out that every time Arsenal are in the ascendancy they make such a stupid mistake in the middle of the match and after thing after that everything crumbles however that was not the case we expected Arsenal to see out the game and it was a very very massive three points in the context of the table and what it does is it has put Arsenal right back in the mix for a top four spot they are just a point behind West Ham with two games in hand and that just goes to show how the Premier League is so unpredictable it is still unpredictable because we don't know who will ultimately finish in the top four spot out of the four teams which are contending for it so guys I am really proud of Arsenal as a team they have dug deep a very dogged performance this is what you require if you have to go that extra mile and compete for a Champions League spot. It was a crucial win in the context but I just feel that Arsenal need to rectify their disciplinary issues. They can't you know continue winning matches if they always go down to 10 men. Let's be honest about it. It has to be you know a fair play a kind of game where your football dictates the terms not your tackles and ill discipline which eventually affects your entire playing style it just cannot happen that way and i just hope that arsenal learns its lesson and with this you know Mikel arteta has made a huge gamble by not signing anyone in the first place in the january transfer window and that is once again reflected in a very weak squad so guys please let me know your thoughts do you think that arsenal can still finish in the top four or do you think that there will be the likes of west ham manchester united or the you know slipping spurs who would once again make it to the top four it is all to play for and let's hope that the gunners can do well so guys put in your thoughts and for regular updates stay tuned to the football mania and subscribe to my youtube channel so until next time stay safe and take care